We have many corporate sponsors for which we are very grateful. One of those that I want to highlight is Rotary. Many Rotary clubs and Rotarians have been involved, as well as Rotary International and Rotary International in Britain and Ireland. Through Rotary and a very significant grant, we've been able to provide vehicles, sponsor an ophthalmic eye surgery unit, but also the computers here in the academy, which is the school for all of our children on board, in addition to vehicles and other very needed equipment. So we're grateful for those partners and it helps us provide a quality education for all the children on board. And here's one of our classrooms in session. Let's take a look. We are now on deck four. This is immediately above the hospital deck. All of this is completely new. We've built 79 cabins on this deck for approximately 200 people. And the majority of the cabins are two and four berth for couples or singles. Here's Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, how are you? Can we look in this cabin and you sure. tell us what it's like to live in a four berth cabin? Sure, no problem. Come on in. This is the, uh, the WC, the shower. And right next to it are two pods. This is the first pod, which is two berths with their individual cupboards and a little uh, desk in between. And one of the advantages is we can close this for those that are on watch keeping and it's just like it's completely dark in there. Here's the second one. They're identical. It is a mirror image of the one we've just seen. And on the outside, next to the porthole, is a small living area. So the four roommates in this four berth cabin have a television should they like to, a refrigerator, a library, a place for them to sit together, be together, invite their friends in. So this is a view of a six berth cabin and it's not bad. I've actually had crew members say because of the curtains and my little private area as well as the sitting room and the facilities. We can do this. Thank you for thinking of these things as you built the ship. Another one of the areas is the boutique. This is on deck two, along with the exercise room, also on deck two. The boutique where you can get any of the latest designs. You'd be surprised how many people found exactly what they needed in the boutique. The 484 berths on board, the largest single block, 130 berths approximately, are reserved for the delivery of our health care services, the program of Mercy Ships. In addition, there are 40 additional berths that are set aside for the program that we do ashore, and these vehicles take us to the programs ashore and bring us home to the ship water and sanitation, HIV education, mother antenatal neonatal training, partnership with the local churches, local NGOs, local government agencies. Without these vehicles, we couldn't do what we do ashore. When the patients arrive with their very precious appointment cards, because they will have already been through the screening process, they first come to the tents, where details and information are taken and reconfirmed, and then they are accompanied up the gangway. This is the patient gangway and down into deck three, which is the Oak Hospital. This is the patient entrance to the Oak Foundation Hospital. So every patient that's received an appointment card for one of the surgeries comes in here. We'll meet with one of our translating staff and team while they're waiting to be seen according to their scheduled appointment. Hello, we're glad to have you. Hello, sir. Good to see you. These are our examining rooms where we do the examinations of the patients and also some of the post-op visits. Obviously, this cute little thing has had surgery probably on club feet on both ankles at the same time. Thank you, Mother, for letting us take your picture and your baby's picture. 
So it was recently fitted with a cast made locally in Liberia uh, and with an orthotic patient. He had a, a foot that went down like that and now it's up like this basically and this orthotic is meant to keep it in position. Joy, have you been treated nicely here on the ship? Yeah, you have? Good. Brings a smile to you and a smile to us. Yeah. This ship is incredibly well equipped. I think the CT scan and the room that we're visiting now is one of only one of five or six in all of West Africa, an area of two million people. And here it is on our state-of-the-art hospital ship. And this of course is the x-ray room and as you would expect all of these walls are lead line meeting all of the regulations and requirements. This is our laboratory for the hospital on board the Africa Mercy and what a wonderful provision it is well equipped and excellent staff from South Africa and the United States. Lady smile for the camera. What a wonderful provision it is. Uh, we have our own blood supply in that it's the crew. So when we know that we're going to have need of a particular blood type because all of that is done in advance, we have a ready source and supply here on this ship. One of our corporate sponsors is Nikon. In 2007 in the United Kingdom, Mercy Ships was the charity of choice for Nikon as a company. And one of the instruments that we have purchased and also a gift was provided for this is a cool scope. Our laboratory technician can take the, the lab and for the histology and everything that we need, it's sent via satellite to a laboratory in Sheffield in England. The technician there manipulates it, does the diagnosis, and we have a very rapid response when the cool scope is fully functional. And that doesn't happen in many of the nicest hospitals in the world. We're so thankful for this provision. This is the Oak Foundation Hospital, which is the heart of the Africa Mercy. It's so well equipped and we're going to go into one of the six operating rooms. This one happens to be an eye operating room and it was also donated by Rotary in Great Britain and Ireland. And you see that we have an international staff and crew. One of the ophthalmologists is from the United States. The other one was born in Britain, but is Nigerian and is back here serving people of her own continent. And you'll see the nurses and other staff from all over the world. One of the beauties of this ship is that the recovery area is immediately across the ship from the operating rooms. And the patients that you're looking at now have had their eye surgeries and they're getting ready to go home because it's been a successful surgery and they will come back for the post-op. And over here are the anesthesia recovery patients. Again, it's directly across from the operating room. It's wonderfully located. Hi, little guy. <laughs> Will you come to me? Will you come to me? Huh? Will you come to me? Yeah. This is Hope Ward one of the four wards plus the intensive care unit and each ward has between 15 and 20 beds and it's a happy place. Another one of the areas is the crew physician's office on deck three. We are very thankful for the staff who serve the needs of our crew both long term and short term. This is a place where you can go for a private consultation for your health concerns while you're on board the ship. Mercy Ships brings hope and healing to the poorest of the poor in the poorest nations of the world. And that wouldn't have been possible without a very significant gift from the Oak Foundation. The hospital is named in their honor and that means that for thousands of children on an annual basis, again among the world's poorest, they'll receive life-changing surgery. We're so thankful that they believed in us and partnered with us. 